Okay, in this video, I want to talk about some of the VS Code settings and extensions. Um, now, I did uninstall VS Code on my machine and then reinstalled it, but I think it kept some of the some of my settings and my preferences and stuff. So, anyway, it might look a little different for you, but I should still be able to show you everything. Um, I noticed it with my prettier. I had to disable it. Anyway, well, okay, we'll get there. So let's start with these VS Code extensions. Um, so VS Code comes with a bunch of stuff, but you can add more to it. So one of the extensions, uh, the extensions are here, this, these blocks here. If you click on that, it shows all these um, extensions. I have a whole bunch installed here. That's why I was like, oh, I, it didn't reset everything. Um, but anyway, let's start by searching for an extension called Live Server. And it should be the top one here, Live Server by Ritwick Day, a whole bunch of 30 million downloads. Um, so install this. And what the Live Server does is it allows us to launch our website on a local server on our machine. And that creates a connection between the browser and the browser and VS Code so that it'll do it like an auto refresh. So, so let me show you that. So you install it. Hopefully it's installed by now. Um, if I go back to here and I have my HTML, if you notice when I go to the website here, it shows me it's a file, right, on the F drive, CS10, Velcamp, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's just loading that local file. Now, to open it up with the local server, or with that live server, there is this button here called Go Live. You can click that, but I actually prefer just right-clicking on the HTML file and say Open with Live Server. And that should launch in our default browser or our open browser. See, there it is. And instead of saying file, it shows this 127.0.0.1, which is the address of the local server on port 5500. You can see that, that port 5500 right here. All right, and it's automatically loaded the index.html because that's the name of any, the default homepage name, right? So the local server knows to run the index.html. And my web page is here. And you're like, okay, well, what's the big deal? I have the web page here, no big deal. But the difference is, is let's say I got rid of this exclamation mark. If, it, if I hit control save, the local server automatically refreshes, whereas here I need to manually click refresh in order to see the changes. Okay, so not a huge deal, but you do a lot of control S and refresh as you're building your website. So it's kind of nice for that to just happen automatically that you don't have to click that refresh every time. There is also some certain functionality that only works if you're running it through a local server. So it's a good habit to get into using this, this local server. So I'm going to actually close the file one and just have that local server open. Um, if you ever need to shut it down, right? So if I click on this, it disposes of the port. And now if I make a change and hit Control S, it doesn't refresh right away because the connection is broken, right? So I would need to close this and either click the go live or open with live server again so that it creates that connection again. Okay, so that's that's live server, really useful. Um, another extension that I recommend is Prettier. And Prettier just helps us format our code. So for example, like I could write this code, we could get rid of get this here and maybe tab this here and these li's are actually here anyway like your code can get really messy and if it's not like indented nicely and spaced out nicely it makes it a lot harder to read right if that was there it's just it's un untidy it makes it harder to read so prettier is an extension that formats our code nicely for us so again we go to extensions um, in the search here, just type prettier. And it should come up prettier right here. And again, I already have it installed, so just you can click install. I disabled mine, but I'm going to hit enable now. And, uh, and how do we actually use prettier? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in our settings how we can make it so that every time I save, it's going to run prettier. All right. So you can manually, well, no, let's just do it this way. So I'm going to go to my settings. So I click on the gear here and go to my settings. And again, I'm just going to use the search here. And I'm going to type um, default formatter, first of all. So, okay, so mine's already selected. But you just click on this and select from the list 
wow, there's a huge list. Okay, anyway, we just want to choose this prettier code formatter and make that our default formatter. All right. And then the other thing we want to do is go format on save. And we want to make sure that that's checked off. So every time I save, it should run the default formatter. So let's see what that looks like. So right here, I'm just going to hit Control S, even though I don't have any changes that need to be saved. I think I can still hit Control S. And ta-da! It's like magic. It automatically like indented things and lined things up nicely to show the proper nesting that these list items are inside of the OL. Right? We don't want them here. We want it to be indented inside so it's easy to see where the list starts and where it ends. Okay, same with the body. I sometimes like to have a space between my head and my body just to make that a little cleaner. Um, but anyway, so that, that's prettier. It makes it so that it, it lines up our code a lot nicer. Okay, um, another setting. What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, color theme. So actually, if you just click on the gear again and go to color theme, you can choose from the existing color themes here. So there's different dark styles. And up top are these light styles. Ooh, that's bright. Okay. Um, anyway, just play around with those, see what you like. I usually go with the default dark style. All right. Um, word wrap is, uh, so we go to the settings again, right? That was that gear, settings, control, comma. And in here, let's search for word wrap. And editor word wrap, you want to make sure is turned on. And the idea behind that, see, I think mine already had it. See how this went to the new line? Yours probably extended. Well, unless your font size was smaller and stuff. But anyway, if I didn't have word wrap on, well, let's turn it off. Uh, turn it off. I go back here. And you can see now I have the horizontal scroll, which is really annoying. Okay, so you want to have the editor word wrap turned on so we don't have the horizontal scroll. Yay. All right, um, so that was word wrap. Oh, yeah, mouse wheel zoom. So right now that's on for me. I can hold control and then zoom in and out with my mouse wheel. Okay, I like that really for videos to make sure the text is a little bigger for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, if you just search um, mouse zoom wheel, just check that off if you like that setting, right? Hold control and use the mouse wheel. It zooms in and out. Um, and another, oh, we did the format on save already. Color theme, word wrap, word wrap, mouse wheel zoom format save. I think that's good. I'm going to close these extensions and stuff. So there we go. Our live server extension, very handy. So I don't have to refresh things all the time. It just refreshes on its own. And then that prettier stuff, which makes sure that my indentation and things are looking good. All right. Hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.